Kakalosh Bokatov. I was asked a question to do with if a person forgot to put on tefillin. What exactly is his tikkun? So here he brings down in the Sefer of Venlamo Mishol, Ashut Shar Shimon. He comes and he says, he brings down the uh, Chuvav of Ovadi Yosef, and he says that he was writing to the son of the Mechaber, and he says like this. As an answer to the letter that was written on the 9th of Cheshvan in the year of Tavshin Lamed, he comes and he says, This person, he writes a letter to Ravadi Yosef, and he tells them that he was in charge of a post, right, in the army, and therefore, after he was freed from his post from the army, he forgot to put on tefillin. So therefore he wants to know what's his tikkun, right? He forgot one day to put on tefillin. So he comes and he answers like this. He says it's known in Mesechet Yomad Pevav Amud Bet Amud Aleph. It says over there if a person was over a mitzvah and he does teshuvah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu forgives him. But the ikar of the tshuva is Azivat Achet. You have to abandon the sin. So he says therefore what a person should do is that he should check his tefillin to make sure they are kosher to make sure they're 100% kosher, in order to make sure that he's going to do the mitzvah properly from now on, it's also kedai me'od to get tefillin rabbin utam, that they're going to be also kishirim betachlit, and to put them on after Amida, because during the time of Kriyat Shemant tefillah, he has to have tefillin of Rashi, and then he finishes the, the tefillah with tefillin rabbin utam, and he's going to read Kriyat Shema. Now since also the mitzvah of tefillin is connected to Talmud Torah, because it says in the Pasu, vaya le'ot al yadecha, then it says, So there's a connection between the tefillin and the Talmud Torah. So therefore he comes and he says, you have to learn every single day, right? whether it's going to be in the Shulchan Aruch, the Ben Ishchai, the Torah, he says the Torah protects and it saves the person as well. But he shouldn't learn less than one hour every single day. If he can learn during the day, he has to pay it back. And he has to give also 18 coins to Tzedakah every single day for Kaparat Achet. That's what he has to do an entire year. So this is what Rav Vadi Yosef is coming and telling a person that for an entire year, this is what they're doing. That they're giving Tzedakah every single day. They're learning minimum of a Torah an hour a day, whether it's going to be a Shulchan Ruch, Ben Ishchai, or Sifrei Halacha. <laughs> He's going to also be checking his tefillin, the regular tefillin, and to get also tefillin of Rabbeinu Tam. This is just, again, little things. If a person would actually just see what are the tikkun for certain halachot, a person would afterwards come and they would just think to themselves, wow, look how powerful it is every single mitzvah that we do, that in order to do a tikkun, this is a tikkun that a person forgot. We're not talking about that he didn't put on tefillin for a month or for a year. One day they forgot to put on the tefillin, and look how much the person has to do in order to fix that sin, right, of not putting on tefillin for that day.